you know, we're going to get into a firefight right off the bat. I don't know any of this stuff. And that reality starts to eat at me. And I'm walking down this, this hallway in this compound, and I come across this window that looks out over a courtyard. And in this courtyard, there's this beautifully polished marble wall. And it's very simple, just a flat wall. And, you know, a couple of sides, you know, about the size of your screen here, maybe two or three of them outside. You got a flag posted on the top, and the floodlights are illuminating it. It's just me. I'm the only one sitting there looking at this thing. And on the wall, this memorial of all the names of all these soldiers and Delta operators that have been killed in the past, and the normal stuff that you see on uh, these monuments. And right in the middle, I mean, right dead center, is this verse of scripture. And if you go around and saw the special operations community, and certainly probably other parts of the military today, you'll see this uh, very frequently. It's a wonderful, wonderful quote uh, of scripture from the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 8. And that scripture says, and then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, Lord, send me. The definition of selfless service, man. Who will go for us? Who will do the job that nobody else will do? Who will do the job that people are too afraid to do? Don't want to do for whatever reason? Who's going to do it? You know, here am I, send me. I mean, volunteer. Putting the needs of others in front of yourself. It's your buddy on your left, your teammate on your right, your squad, your team, school, your country. You know, all that comes first. You are a distant second, third, maybe fourth, you know, in the schedule of comfort here. In order to be a leader, the needs of others must come first. It has to be. Absolutely, positively, has to be. If I is the first thing that crosses the synapse when you're thinking about a problem, you're wrong. It must be for the good of others. Every great leader in the world follows that. 